Hey guys, welcome to my second video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make General Stonewall Jackson and his uniform that he wore to the Battle of Manassas, or Bull Run. Now, keep in mind, this is before the Confederacy actually had uniforms for their soldiers made so far. So, when they went down to Manassas to fight, they put on whatever they, uniforms they had. Everyone's uniforms ended up being blue. Um, in Stonewall's brigade for the most part because they all fought in the Union Army. Now let's get to it. Yeah, I know I'm back. Now, let's see here. So, starting off for um, hats. There's pretty much only one hat you can really go with and that is the Union cap in this navy blue. Um, no eyewear, no mask, no bandana, no neckwear for coats. He had the same sort of coat as uh, Robert E. Lee. So, just as blue, I think. The coat I know is blue, but I'm pretty sure it's the same type as Robert E. Lee. So, I would say that the, uh, the Durham coat would be good if it came in like a blue, not leather fabric. But it doesn't, so I'm going to recommend the classic frock coat. Because it looks very similar. The only thing is, all the pictures I could find and all the movie clips and stuff I could find from it are of him and his outfit and stuff. He always had his jacket buttoned up so far to where you couldn't see. Basically, had it buttoned up all the way. He didn't let you see his um, anything I had under it. So I had to improvise a little bit. But I went with the classic frock coat in blue. And then I went in for vests to make it look more like it was closed up all the way. I went with the Churchill vest in uh, this dark blue color. Although, in a dark blue one. Um, if you had wanted to use something else, you could go with um, something like... Uh, yeah, a minute. I have to find it. Okay, it's pretty much just the Churchill vest. For shirts, I went with the uh, French dress shirt, just so then it'd make it look a little bit more like it was just a shirt buttoned all the way up to the top, or a coat buttoned all the way up to the top. No suspenders, because you won't see them. No gauntlets. Gloves. Essentially, if they are, you want to go with the riding gloves in this white, grayish type color. My original plan was going with the uh, cavalry gloves, but I could not find them in the right color. So, I had to go with these. No rings, no belts, no buckles. For weapons equipment, I just went with the sharpshooter because... Generally, it just looks nice with pretty much most outfits, and uh, it looked good with this one. So I kept it. Um, for pants, you're going to go with the tuxedo pants in blue. Um, for boots, you want to go with the cavalry boots in um, black. Not very black. And I could not find any clips that had spurs, but I'd say if you wanted to wear spurs, then go with the, uh, let's see here. Go with the Western Spurs in black, or actually, yeah, the, the Western Spurs in black would work. Now that is uh, his uniform from Manassas. I did make a version that I think could work for uh, whenever he did get his uniform, but I'm not going to show that because I feel like it'd be too similar to when I eventually do George Pickett. So I'm just going to leave that for another time. And fun fact, um, during the Battle of Manassas, they showed up so quickly, um, and they were actually the first army to be transported by train to change a course of a battle. And another thing is, um,
you know, I gotta think. He actually ended up breaking his, um, one or two of his fingers because when he was given commands, a bullet passed in between them. I'm just gonna hat tip that person. And let's see here. And frankly enough, the guy who gave him the nickname Stonewall actually ended up dying before the end of that battle. And there's actually controversy on whether or not he was criticizing him or trying to cheer his men up and be like, Look, there's Jackson standing like a stone wall. Because my speaker just turned off. Because depending on the um, context and the tone of his voice and stuff, it changes. And one final thing. From where he was uh, warm and blue... What ended up happening was he decided to charge them, or charge the Union, with their bayonets. And when he sit, and when he went to charge them, he told them, "Scream like furies." That's where the rebel yell came from. But I like to imagine what the Union troops were doing when they turn around to see a bunch of guys wearing blue ch rushing at them, <laughs> um, yelling. It was probably very confusing. Now for um, hair. I went with a neat left parted um, in color two because, well, I was trying to find something that looked nice with um, the outfit and looked somewhat historically accurate. And a lot of this I was getting off the movie um, Gods and Generals, I believe is the name of it, where it's played by Stephen Lang, I think. Or he's played by Stephen Lang. And this is the best thing I could find that looks similar to that. But we're not going to put pomade in it this time. And for facial hair, I went with the woodsman beard in two. Yeah, two works best. So guys, um, thank you for watching. Remember to uh, like, share, and subscribe or whatever. Because I really like for this channel to get a little bit bigger. I can understand I only have two videos, but guys gotta try. Um, next, I believe the uniform. Next, I'm gonna be doing uh, Ulysses S. Grant, and that one should be relatively interesting. It'll be a little bit thrown up, and for once, it will not be a Confederate outfit. So yeah, I've got most of the parts for that ready. I've got to um, do a little more stuff and wait to make that outfit and upload it. So. Um, have a good one. Bye.